Now, when we nod off, we invariably dream, but many people have reported that over the course of the pandemic, what they dream about has changed dramatically. And it seems to be a very real claim, and scientists are now beginning to study it, as Eva Higginbotham reports. How have you been sleeping? Having any weird dreams lately? There's been a few reports of people experiencing more frequent and more peculiar dreams this year. I dreamt that I was helping a friend pick out a new apartment. I dreamt my ceilings were falling down due to the upstairs neighbours stomping about. I dreamt that a Scottish nurse got very mad at me when I knocked someone off their bike. I dreamt that I met 12 or so strangely shaped cats in a non I had a dream that I had received a letter from Amazon saying, Your order of Andrex toilet paper has been cancelled. Cancelled toilet paper delivery, the ultimate nightmare. But for scientists, there's more to dreams than just entertaining stories to tell your friends and family. Alejandro Esquerra Nassar is a dreams expert and human consciousness researcher at the University of Cambridge, and he's been looking into how and why our dreams might have changed this year. But first things first, to a scientist, what actually is a dream? I like to think of dreams, and many of us in the field like to think of dreams, as immersive visual-spatial hallucinations. And it's a way in which we can account for the fact that dreams are not just something that you are thinking of or something that you feel, but actually it's the full package of what reality is like. So it's a, it's a whole virtual reality that's being created. There are lots of evolutionary theories about why we dream. Some people think scary dreams are practice for when we face real threats in real life. Others, that they're a harmless method of exercising our social skills. And still others, that they teach us how to manage our emotions better. And then there are some who argue that dreams are nothing more than the byproduct of having active brains that are just replaying what happened during the day. And surprisingly enough, the COVID pandemic might end up helping dream researchers figure out which of these theories is most likely. Yeah, so when the whole pandemic began and the lockdown started to be imposed around the world, we sort of saw it as an opportunity. We got contacted by a group of researchers in Finland and we started collaborating with them and with a university in Australia, Monash University, on an online survey project. So we've been collecting dreams from Finland, Australia and the UK for the past six months. It's around 400 people who have participated. There's been anecdotal evidence that suggests that dreams during the pandemic are a bit more bizarre, are a bit more vivid, more emotional, and we want to see if that's the case and we want to understand why, if so. People's dreams during the lockdown seem to indicate that people are dreaming more about things that remind them of the pandemic. Things like cleanliness, things like face masks, social isolation, and they're also reporting more anger and more sadness in their dreams. One of the theories for why we dream is called social simulation theory, which says that we dream as a way of fine-tuning our social skills and generally improving our waking social interactions. Now that's going to be interesting to see what happens during the lockdown because it is one of the few times when we are able to sort of see people who have been isolating globally on a mass scale and see how that then affects the content of the dream because if they report to be having less social interactions during their dreams that would indicate that maybe the dream is actually just continuing on the daily life of the people who are reporting these dreams. Whereas if people are having more social interactions during their dreams, that might suggest that the dreams are actually serving a coping mechanism for people who have lacked those social interactions throughout the day. There might also be more innocuous reasons behind why people's dreams have changed during the pandemic. One reason might be because just people are having more time to rehearse their dreams in the morning after they've woken up and just lay in bed thinking about it. They have more time. They're not immediately rushing out of bed into the shower, out to work. So that might be one reason that people just have more time to remember their dream. The other option is that this bizarreness and this vividness is just related to the bizarreness and and the emotional intensity of the current situation. So it's just that being reflected then in the dreams. It will be interesting to to find out. And finally, I asked Alejandro what his dreams were like. Oh, my dreams are extremely boring. My dreams are (laughs) just... No, I think my dreams are just me going to the shops and not being able to find the honey or something like that. Um, 
which provides support for the continuity hypothesis, which just says that dreams are only a continuation of your everyday life and they have no significance whatsoever. Alejandro Esquero, NASA.